number. Hi, folks, and welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me for another recording. I'm looking forward to this. I got a couple of games lined up today. And we're going to start with a couple of rounds of Jeopardy! First Edition, uh, released all the way back in 1987. We'll see how well the trivia holds up today in 2022. Uh, I am a returning champion. Uh, I promise I'm a returning champion. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know who Neil and Joe are, but uh, but I am on the board. Thirty-four thousand eight hundred dollars, three wins in a row. We're gonna play against Dan, and we're gonna play against Jody here in game four. And here we go. The categories this time around in the Jeopardy round: Explorers, Sports, Tools. Foreign phrases, wet or dry, and triple threat. Uh, now, this is interesting because I think when I did a practice round many, many, many months ago uh, in figuring out how to do the, you know, the ODS stuff and all of that, I think this might have been the board that came up. So this might be an easy one. Uh, we'll see what happens, uh, and we'll start with tools. Tools for 100. Vodka and orange juice. And I'll try to, again, I'll try to read these as we go. But remember, I got to buzz in quick. The computer can buzz in any time. Um, and uh, so I need to, uh, I need to buzz in quick and read at the same time. It's very challenging. So I'll see what I can do. What is a screwdriver? That's the answer to this one. Vodka and orange juice. An orange vodka juice. Uh, tools for 200 is the Daily Double. And, uh, yeah, this is weird about this game. Um, because I have positive money, now in, in, the, in the real show, I'd be able to wager up to $500, the maximum value of the clue on the board. But uh, uh, the way they program this one is I can only bet up to 100 So let's make it a true daily double. What you throw into the works when you mess up the plan. This is why I remember this board. Uh, what you throw into the works when you must mess up a plan. I buzzed in when I played this board about a year ago. I buzzed in and said a wrench. You throw a wrench in the works. But it, it gave me the buzzer and wanted monkey wrench. Yeah, it was a monkey wrench. And it was very specific. It wanted monkey wrench in there. Um, weird. Weird but true. So, yeah, I'm sorry. This is going to be probably a pretty boring round because I remember a lot of the clues. Tools for three. Hey, we're still going to learn something in the post game. So. Supposedly used by quack dentists to pull teeth. What are pliers? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds awful. As somebody who has had my share of teeth pulled over the years for various reasons. Not that you needed to know that. But ugh. Hooked cast iron rod with the same name as a card game. A poker. That's right. A fire poker. See, I won't remember all the clues. See what happens here. All right, back to the game. Tools for 500 bucks. Here we go. The kind of a screw with an X-shaped groove on top. What is a Phillips head? Uh, okay, so I spelled Phillips wrong or didn't put the word screw or what have you. So, all right. All right, fine. The internal Jeopardy judge is going to mess with me again. Maybe it's possessive. Is it Phillips apostrophe S? I don't know if that matters. In this game. A Phillips head screw. Okie doke. Foreign phrases. $400. Here we go. Mesa. Sorry, I just saw the word Mesa and buzzed in. Mesa describes a flat-topped mountain in the U.S. or this piece of furniture in Mexico. What is a table? Mesa is table. All right. Um, let me go with foreign phrases <laughs> for a hundred. I was indecisive. I'm sorry. Japanese farewell. Japanese farewell, it literally means, if we must, then let us part. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, what is sayonara? 
it. Oh, God. Sayonara. Hope everyone's doing well today out there listening to this. Yeah, I just spelled it wrong. Okay. Um, hope you're doing well. I'm recording for the backlog of the channel. And when we get enough of a backlog, I'll be starting to post these videos. Hope you enjoy them. Explorers for 100 supposedly was the first to explore Ireland and rid it of snakes. Who is St. Patrick? Yeah. St. Patrick. I don't have much to say about that. Foreign phrases for $200. In French, in French, it means be both cooked simply and in the nude. Uh, what is a natural? A natural. Ha ha. <laughs> it was my French laugh. Foreign phrases for $300. Italian toast wishing 100 years health. Also an aperitif. Aperitif. I like that word. Cinzano. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. I don't know Italian very well. Triple threat. $300. Monetary designation for a phony. What is a $3 bill? Um, let's go foreign phrases. Finish that one out, please. Yiddish phrase, which means to carry on, oh, I know this, a, a running commentary while another is working. I remember this word from, remember Yahoo Games back when they had, if you're a late 90s, early 2000s person and kibitz, not kibbutz. Um, but um, yeah, they used to have those games, uh, Java games or something like that. And uh, there's always an option when you joined a table, so you could allow or not allow kibbutzing or kibitzing. Uh, you, you could allow or not allow uh, people just watch your game and make commentary. Um, those were the days. I miss that. I wish they would bring that back. Uh, triple threat for $100. This series, sorry, again, I got to do it quick here. This series starring John Ritter planned as sequel to Three's Company. What is Three's a Crowd? Ah, didn't last too long as I understand it. Great John Ritter. We miss him too. Uh, triple threat or 200 bucks. What you give a person when you really heartily appreciate them. What are three cheers? Hip, hip, hooray. For Dan, he's up to $600. All right. Wet or dry for $200. Impolite phrase meaning you are entirely wrong. Implied phrase meaning you're entirely wrong. Wet. You're all wet. I didn't know it was impolite, but what is all wet? <laughs> okay. Meaning you're entirely wrong. <laughs> what is your all wet? Fine. Wet or dry? For a hundred bucks. Here we go. Gin and practically no vermouth. What is a dry martini? It's our second, our second potent potable question today on the board. Dry martini. Wet or dry for 300. Shirts that need no ironing. What are drip dry? <laughs> then again, I don't think I've ironed a shirt in 10 years, so um, I guess all of my clothes are dripped dry. One who encourages enjoy discourages enjoyment and brings others down. 
What is a wet blanket? I know that I have to buzz in quick, but I hope you, you folks are playing along with me. See if you can get the clues as fast as we need to to uh, beat the computer, because that's the goal. We gotta beat the computer. That computer has no feelings, you know. Wet or dry, $500. A rehearsal using props or stand-ins for the real thing. What is a dry run? Yeah, dry run. What is a dry run? Okay, uh, let's go triple threat, $400. The collective name of the Kentucky Derby, the Belmont Stakes, and the Preakness. What is the triple crown of horse racing? Always exciting. Triple threat for $500. Tora, Tora, Tora was Japanese code for their successful attack here. What is Pearl Harbor? Yeah, they uh, they made a movie sick in the 60s or something called Tora, Tora, Tora. And it is a very long war epic, and I watched it for extra credit in history class. And it was, uh, it was not a fun movie to watch. It was very long. And, you know, war movies aren't always interesting to me. Uh, sports for 100, patriotic name of the most illustrious trophy in yachting. What is the America's Cup? I think it's so called that because America won it for like 120 years and uh, only recently has it been won by other countries. Oh, I want sports, but we'll do explorers for two. Here we go. Because it was there was his reason for climbing Mount Everest. Who was, um, who climbed Mount Everest? Um, I know the guy's name. I do. I promise I do. Um, shoot. What was his reason for climbing? Um, I'll know it when I see the name. I think I have to take a hit here. Um, um, yeah, I gotta take the hit on this one. I'm sorry. Sorry for making everyone sit through 30 seconds of me contemplating the answer. Edmund Hillary. That's his name. Sir Edmund Hillary. Yeah, under pressure, I couldn't come up with the name. There it is. Sir Edmund Hillary. Yeah. Isn't that funny how the mind works like that? Sports for 200. Let's go back there. Manager in the 40s of both the Dodgers and the Giants. His autobiography is Nice Guys Finish Last. Leo Dur uh, Durocher, I believe is how you pronounce the last name. Sorry, New York baseball fans. Leo Durocher. We'll go back to Explorers now for $500. In 1618, oh, I think I know this. Oh, might be too late. In 1618, this English explorer gave signal for the axe to fall at his own execution, who is Sir Walter Raleigh. Um, that's a way to go, I suppose. Um, <laughs> Explorers for three hundred. We'll have to look up why he was uh, why uh, he was executed. A river, a bay, and a defunct auto company were named for him, who was Henry Hudson. Yeah, Hudson. I don't. I don't know the Hudson Car Company, but yes, the Hudson Bay in Canada, the Hudson River in New York. Uh, let's finish out Explorers. $400. Uh, Bly sailed the South Seas with this explorer 11 years before mutiny. South Seas. I'm going to take a guess. Who was Cook? Nope. <laughs> no. Bly sailed the South Seas. With this explorer 11 years before mutiny. Oh, <laughs> we all screwed this one up, didn't we? Captain, oh, Captain Cook. Is it, it's James Cook, isn't it? Uh, maybe the James part was wrong, I don't know. Uh, sports for 300. This sport features jammers breaking out of the pack. Jammers. And that is roller derby. 
<laughs> Which is a sport, I suppose. Uh, sports for 400. This 19th century American humorist said, golf is a good walk spoiled. And who was Mark Twain? Yeah, classic quote. A good walk spoiled. Last clue on the board for $500. The answer is... All horses in the U.S. are considered to be born on this day of the year. What is January 1? Okay. On this day of the year. It was Tuesday. No. <laughs> now, I bet if I... January 12th is apparently the answer. Okay. Um... Interesting. Okay. Well, fine. Double Jeopardy. <laughs> That's a weird way to end that round. Um, yeah, Double Jeopardy. Here it comes. I think Jody gets to start this round. And here are the categories. College, Toys and Games, England, Doctors, Colors, and It's About Time. For $400, uh, played by Joel McRae, Lou Ayers, and Richard Chamberlain, who's Dr. Kildare. That was before my time, I'm afraid. Doctors for $800. Michael Crichton, MD, achieved fame with this novel about a disease from outer space. What is the Andromeda strain? Andromeda strain. Yeah. Went on to write Jurassic Park and a number of other books like that. Uh, let's get away from that, though. I don't like that. Uh, it's about time for $200. The shorthand on non-digital clocks indicates this. What is the hour? The longhand, of course, is the minute. It's a minute hand. All right, it's about time, $400. A homely person is said to have a face that will do this. <laughs> what is stop a clock? <laughs> I, <laughs> it's a terribly offensive phrase, but it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it is funny. About time for 600. Term given evening hours of network TV. What is pri uh, prime time? Yeah, prime time hours. Uh, 8 to 11 on the coast, 7 to 10 in the central and mountain time zone. Uh, here in the United States, it's about time for 800. What they call artifacts sealed in the cornerstone of a building. What is a time capsule? Mm hmm. About time for 1,000. Length of time for which the owl and the pussycat sailed away. What is a year and a day? It rhymes. I get it. A year and a day. All right, Jody's back on the plus side. What do we go to next? Colors. For $400. And the answer is crustacean, whose name is used to describe the shade of a sunburn. Oh, I've had many of those in my days. What is a lobster? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Colors for $200. Oh, a daily double. Okay. Uh, you think we can get make it to 10 grand? Let's do it. Let's do $3,600. Yep, let's try it. The, <laughs> the home of the NFL Packers. What is Green Greeny Bay? What is Green Bay? Green Bay, Wisconsin, of course. I grew up in Wisconsin, and uh, the Packers are my, my football team. I'm allowed one good sports team, and that's my team, Green Bay Packers. Colors for $600. Traditional color of billiard cue chalk. What is, I believe it's green. No, is it blue? I think it's blue, I think is what I meant to say. Green is the color of the fabric. 
See, I thought I thought the color of the chalk and the fabric would be the same, but no. What is blue? I should put that. All right. Well, sometimes you answer quick and you you get it wrong. For eight hundred dollars, drink combining gin, grenadine, and the whites of eggs. Well, that sounds awful. What is a pink lady? What is a pink lady? Ugh, egg whites. I I don't know. Colors for a thousand. Here we go. Elizabeth Taylor's eyes are to be said to be this color. Uh, well, I think they're sapphire blue. No? Okay. Elizabeth Taylor's eyes are said to be this. Oh, is it is it violet? I think she has violet eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't this fun watching me second guess all of my answers? Uh, Jody's back down uh, in negative territory. A reminder, the computer won't play Final Jeopardy, only we get to. So, violet, they're violet eyes, not sapphire. White diamonds. Uh, tw <laughs> Wasn't that her perfume? Toys and games for 200 bucks. Pentagon once studied these flying saucer toys for national defense potential. What are frisbees? Or flying, I think Frisbee is the trademarked name. But. Toys and Games, 400. Originally from the Philippines, this wood and string toy became a U.S. fad in 1929. What is the yo-yo? Yeah. Toys and Games, 600. Shakespeare's day, this game was called Hoodman Blind because players reversed their hoods to play. Hoodman, Hoodman Blind. Uh, do we try it? Let's try it. What the hell? I got nine grand. And fake money. What is Blind Man's Bluff? There you go. I called their bluff. No, I didn't, actually. Toys and Games for 800 Properties in Monopoly are based on on real streets in this New Jersey city. What is Atlantic City? Yeah, boardwalk and all of that. Yeah, it's all in Atlantic City in New Jersey. Toys and games for a thousand. Uniquely English field sport that originally originated from ancient Gaelic game of lobbing stones. <laughs> oh, those Gaelics. Uh, ancient Gaelic game of lobbing stones. Uniquely English field sport. Hmm. Cricket. Ah, okay. Yeah, that is uniquely English. Although, obviously, there are other places in the world, other Commonwealth countries that play it. Speaking of England, let's go to six hundred dollars. That clue. The French Underground was a resistance group. The London Underground is this. What is a subway? A metro subway. Uh, I don't want to do England. Let's go to colleges for 200. Word for a college's teaching staff. What is the faculty? Makes sense. College for 400. Actress Brooke Shields enrolled in this New Jersey university. What is Princeton? Yeah, it's kind of the big one in New Jersey. <laughs> that or Rutgers. Um, there you go. College. For, I know there's plenty more in there, but those are the two biggies. Colleges for six. Alphabetically, it's the last of the Ivy League schools. There's no Z Ivy League school, but there is a Y for Yale. What is Yale? What's alphabetically first? Brown, I bet. Colleges for 800. Catholic schools at New Orleans. Um, sorry, I'll read the full clue. Catholic schools at New Orleans, Baltimore, Chicago, and Los Angeles. What is Loyola, I think? Yeah, what's Loyola? And let's finish out the category for a grand. What an MFA degree abbreviates. What is a Master of Fine Arts? Yeah. An 
MFA. I have an MS. I'll brag about that. I have a master's of science in uh, statistics. We're proud of that. Uh, England. Yeah, a little humble brag there. England for two. Astaire and Sinatra sang of this in Clement. In Clement? In Clement. London weather condition. What is fog? In Clement. In Clement. In Clement. Sure, I know what that means. $400 England. A uh, colorful palace ceremony, which takes place uh, daily at 11.30 a.m. What is changing of the guard? Changing of the guards? Changing of the guard. Guards, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is more than one, but I, I don't know. Maybe they meant guard in a collective sense. England for 800 Royal family member who caused a scandal by dating actress Ku Stark. That was Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I think that was Prince Andrew, right? Who was Prince Andrew? Yeah. He's the fellow who's gotten into some controversy recently with the Epstein scandal and all that. But England for a thousand. Famous document that begins John. It's a Dear John letter. John, by the grace of God, King of England. What is the Magna Carta? Yeah. The Magna Carta. We're up to $16,400. Doctors, for two. One a day keeps the doctor away. Aspirin. What? <laughs> what is an apple? Yeah. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Um, boy, both my computer players are in negative territory, so I, I really, truly would be playing against the house here, unless they can get these clues. The famous husband and wife team who are sexual relations authorities. Who were Masters and Johnson? Yeah, Masters and Johnson. Mm-hmm. 17-2. Yeah, here we go. Doctors for a grand. Formerly coroner to the stars, he wrote a best-selling book. Jody to get on the plus side. Oh, Jody, Jody. I don't know this one, by the way. I don't know his name. Coroner to the stars. He wrote a best-selling book. You got it. You got to try, Dan, if you want to get on the plus side. He's gonna get it. Who is Thomas Noguchi? I'm gonna pronounce it like that. Thomas Noguchi is right. Dan with a hundred bucks. But I have $17,200, uh, and we get to play Final Jeopardy. Uh, remember, I'll put up the, the rules if you've never seen it before. Um, remember, the computer doesn't play, so as long as I have a, more than 100 bucks at the end of this round, I'm a winner. Here we go. Medicine is the category. Um, let's do 7200 so if I get it wrong, it's an even 10 grand. Ready? Here we go. Syndrome marked by sudden attacks of deep sleep, usually spurred by emotional excitement. What is nar nar -col narcolepsy? Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got it. $24,400 in that game. Well done. Of course, again, I did play this one about a year ago, so take it for what it's worth. But it's still a game on the disc, and we're going to post it to YouTube soon enough, as you would know because you're seeing it now. Thanks for watching, folks. We're going to continue this series, continue to play more trivia from 1987, look for some other videos about other video games, too. Until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you later.